You know very well what a good husband I've been. Steady. Yes, you've been very steady, Albert. So I say, steady, reliable, not silly with me money. Oh, no, Albert, your worst enemy could never say you've ever been silly with your money. But at the same time, I'm not stingy. No, not stingy. Everything of the best, if it could be managed. Everything of the best, within reason, you know, within reason. Yes, within reason. Always reasonable and reliable, but all the time getting on, going up in the world. Never satisfied with what we do with most men. Nope, steadily moving on and on, up and up. Cashier, manager, share of the business. Council of this year, all of them next, perhaps, may as soon. You know, Annie, I sometimes thought that right at first you didn't realise just what you picked out the lucky bag. <laughs> well, Albert, what is this all leading up to? Oh, I was just saying that I thought he'd been a good husband to you. And mind you, I don't say you've been a bad wife. No, I don't. Mm, thank you, Albert. So I just wanted to set your mind at rest. Now, don't you worry about this wedding business. If there's been a slip-up, well, there's, there's been a slip-up, but I'll see you all right, Annie. I'll see you fixed up quietly, and then we can go and get married again properly. I know my duty as well as the next man. I'll see you properly married to me. Thank you, Albert. It's all right. It's all right. I'm not saying all men would see it as I do, but never mind. I know what my duty is. Hmm. And what about me? It'll be all right. How do you know I will? Uh, don't be silly, Andy. You ought to know by this time. If I say you'll be all right, you'll be all right. Hmm. But I don't think I want to be married to you. 